Um, the one thing that he says here that now has got the internet like spinning things a little bit, which is like, we scream in self-defense. He should have never put his hands on me. So it looks like in the first clip, it looks like King Vaughn and, and Quando were just squabbling. Like it looked like they were just fighting. And then he just gets shot. So you're like, whoa, what happened? The second angle shows King Vaughn and his troop, you know, his people come out of the vehicle. Quando Rondo standing there, King Vaughn approaches, and then he just punches Quando Rondo. So it makes it look, that clip looks like King Vaughn just came at Quando and just, you know, went at him. So it's like, oh, it's his fault. He started to fight. So then dude shot him. So now Quando's saying, oh, self-defense. Self-defense. You know, too bad. King Vaughn, he tried to punch me. So you get to... Sh so my, now the end is, oh, self-defense. You tell me just because he took a shot, a, a hook, and they fought that it's okay for dude to pull out a gun and shoot him. You know, there's all there's two sides of camp. There's two sides. There's one side talking about, you know, pro obviously first of all, rest in peace, King Vaughn. But there's all these sides talking about like all on King Vaughn's side against Quando Rondo, obviously because he killed him. And then there's another side of people all of a sudden taking Quando Rondo's side and saying this is self-defense and it was okay for the other person to shoot him. So this is this is like two parties all of a sudden. Quando Rondo has the, I don't want to say, you know, nerve or guts to drop one of these songs after his friend, you know, killed King Vaughn. We all saw the footage. We all saw what happened. There were two angles. So in the first angle, it was, wasn't was clear. It looked like they were just two dudes fighting. The second angle looked like, you know, King Vaughn pulls up, you know, punches Quando Rondo, and then they start you know, just fighting, and then all of a sudden, Quando Rondo's friend, Lil Tummy, or Lil Timmy, or whatever the hell, whatever his name is, shoots King Vaughn. And there's all this discussion now, since Quando Rondo dropped this song, about now they're going to claim self-defense, that his friend shot King Vaughn out of self-defense. Let me suspend my thoughts on this, because first of all, it doesn't matter what I think, it's going to matter what the court decides, what happens. But let me, let's watch this this uh, song he dropped after his friend... To me, I mean, like, regardless of what you feel about the situation, I just think it's in bad taste, man. Like, we're going we're gonna to listen to this, and we're going we're gonna to see what Quando Rondo is saying here. But I don't know in what taste this is in that you could address this topic so publicly after a death has happened. So let's see what happened. Quando Rondo. <laughs> Sometimes the best response is none at all. You probably would have left your man's that ain't 100, dog. See, nowadays it's like the fans doing the police job. Y'all talk that gangster shit, but cry when the nigga get lost. You post to walk and have your shit, I still ain't got my point across. Hey, if the shoe was on the other foot, they wouldn't have said he won. Fuck what they say, that's understood. We had to make it home. I put that on the neighborhood before they bust my dome. Damn, you know, this whole. <sighs> Let me just get the lyrics, baby. This, this is not, you know. <laughs> I want to make sure I don't mess up the lyrics. Um, end of story. Let's get it from the genius here. Um, he says, sometimes the best response is none at all. Yet he's making a response. So that's kind of strange, right? He's making a response. Second of all, it says, you probably would have left your mans. That ain't 100, dog. Like, he's trying to basically give his friend credit and show like, oh, what my friend did was good, right? By him saying that, it's making you think like, oh, your friend is not 100. He wouldn't have done that for you. I mean, listen, bro. I don't, you know what I'm saying? Not a lot of friends would just pull out a gun and shoot someone just because you're fighting them. You know what I'm saying? So, but see, nowadays, it's like fans doing the police job. Y'all talking that gangsta-ish, but cry when it do get knocked. You post to walk it how you talk it. One thing that frustrates me a lot about, you know, different artists and people nowadays or YouTube, even YouTubers, you know, who blame fans over a lot of things. It's like, oh, you fans want this. Oh, you fans want that. Bro, people are just, people are just spectating, right? Like you as an artist, you who came out, Quando Rondo, King Von, whatever, 
you want the notoriety. You want the fame. That's what fans do. They watch you. They judge. That they spectate. That's what people do. Don't blame the fans. Don't don't say y'all want this, y'all want that, bro. You're your own person. You decide what what you want to do. You figure out. Don't take accountability for whatever you do. Just because some person on the internet just said, oh da da da, oh da da. People are just spectating. It's just like for them. Unfortunately, it's just like them watching a boxing match. But you want to take it real. That's on you. Don't blame fans for it. Don't don't blame that. That that to me is like my biggest pet peeve. That's like really annoying. And it's just how people just take this idea that like, oh, let's just, oh, y'all fans, y'all fans are, it's not the fans, bro. Fans, yo, people can say whatever they want. I'm tired of people in the comments getting mad at people. People say whatever they want in the comments. That, that should not affect you. That doesn't make you make a decision. Whatever decision you decide to do is because you decide to do it. Don't blame fans. Just fans out of the picture. Let's, let's continue. Um, but still, I got to get my point across. Hey, if the shoe was on the other foot. They wouldn't have said he wrong. If the shoe was on the other foot, they wouldn't have said he wrong. Again, this is all like, to me, there's a little bit of manipulation in the music and the lyrics. Because if the shoe was on the other foot and King Vaughn, someone from King Vaughn's camp shot Quando Rondo dead, I think people would have been saying the same thing. People would have been a little bit irritated and confused by this. As again, to me, it's like manipulation a little bit. If the shoe was on the other foot, they would have said he wrong. Not necessarily. There's a death that happened. If King Von shot Quando Rondo dead, people would still be pissed. Again, there's a lot of manipulation so far in the song. Now this, this to me... Man, to me, bro, this is in bad taste. This is in bad taste, and you know, apparently, obviously, a lot of a lot of rappers diss dead people. You know, that's something that's not new. We, we see it all the time. We've seen it with 6ix9ine. We've seen him say it against Trippy Red. Even King Von himself. <clears throat> that doesn't mean, that doesn't, you know, one thing that pisses me off when people say, well, King Von this to that, you know, he used to always say about this and dead people. He did that too. That doesn't make it okay, guys. That doesn't make it okay, bro. Like, we got to excuse people. People make mistakes, bro. Brother's dead. Like, he's gone. Rest in peace. You know what I'm saying? What's up, gaming? Rest in peace, King Vaughn. That doesn't make it okay. Just take it for what it is. So then his lyrics here, he says, Hey, if the shoes on the foot, they wouldn't have said he wrong. F what they say, that's understood. We had to make it home. I put that on my, on my neighborhood, blah, blah, blah. Okay, blood on your brother on the ground. Go and pick your mans up. Damn right, we scream in self-defense. He should have never put his hands on me. Look at the footage. That's all the evidence. See them pussy. Um... Now, right now, we're going to do... What's up, gaming? Right now, we're going to do... We're going to cover some news. Then we're going to go straight to some new hip-hop. So, stay tuned. But right now, we're covering Quando Rondo's diss against King Vaughn after his death. So, blood on your brother on the ground. Go and pick your mans up, bro. That Again, that's another... That's another... Again, bad taste. We scream in self-defense. Look at the footage. Dude shouldn't have ran up on me. Who said that I was hiding, I'm still riding around with them bands on me. And to set the record straight, I ain't never had no show inside the A. Million on my head, that's what they say. That's all you got, bitch, make it eight. Come run up on me, bite the bait. 30 clip on me, jump out, shake. That shit is shame. I'm going to live this way until they put me in my grave. I mean, I hate to say, you know, I don't want no harm on nobody. Personally. But uh, I'm going to live this way until they put me in the grave. I mean, I hope we don't have to remember that, those words, you know, in the future for anything going wrong. But to me, um, the one thing that he says here that now has got the Internet like spinning things a little bit, which is like we scream in self-defense. He should have never put his hands on me. So it looks like in the first clip, it looks like King Vaughn and, and Quando were just squabbling. Like it looked like they were just fighting. And then he just gets shot. So you're like, whoa, what happened? 
The second angle shows King Vaughn and his troop, you know, his people come out of the vehicle. Quando Rondo standing there, King Vaughn approaches, and then he just punches Quando Rondo. So it makes it look that clip looks like King Vaughn just came at Quando and just, you know, went at him. So it's like, oh, it's his fault. He started a fight. So then dude shot him. So now Quando's saying, oh, self-defense. Self-defense. You know, too bad. King Von, he's, he, he tried to punch me. So you get to... Sh so my, now the end is, oh, self You tell me just because he took a shot, a, a hook, and they fought that it's okay for dude to pull out a gun and shoot him? Was he really in... People say, oh, there was all these people around King Von. I mean... I didn't see in the footage, I didn't see all his other dudes beat King Vaughn up. I just saw it was just King Vaughn and dude fighting, and nobody was interfering. So where was the fear for, for the life to shoot King Vaughn? Where, where, where was that? Where was it that, oh, Quando was so scared, and little Timmy was so scared that Timmy had to go grab a gun and shoot King Vaughn? I get it, there was mad people there, but not those people weren't jumping in. There wasn't 15 dudes jumping Quando Rondo. There was just King Vaughn fighting him. That's it, bro. You know what I'm saying? So I, I like now this song is spinning it where people are trying to say, oh, King Vaughn started it. And you know, yeah, King Vaughn punched him. But if you if you if you look at the footage, um it does. It's tricky, bro, because Quando, when King Vaughn comes out, Quando Rondo's standing there waiting for him. That's the one thing that people is not are not paying attention to after this Quando Rondo end of story thing. Was Quando Rondo was waiting for him right there. So for people to say Quando, King Vaughn started it, I need to second question that because Quando was standing right there waiting for him. They saw each other, they fought. The one thing is who knows what texts were out there? Who knows what they said to each other? Maybe they were like, yo, let's meet up. We're going to fight. A lot of people do that. Yo, we're going to meet up. It's on site when I see you. That doesn't, And then it could be sneaky. It was like, yo, who knows? Like, Quando could have been told his man, like, okay, we're going to fight. But, bro, if this happens, take him out. Like, nobody knows. So, for the fact of people saying, you know, self-defense with lethal force is only considered to be viable when there's no choice. You can't just brandish a firearm when someone pushes you or in case punch. Yo, thank you, gaming. This is exactly what I'm saying. And, again, I'm not a lawyer. Like, let that save that to the law. But... I'm tired of, like, the internet just being swayed so easily. King Vaughn first, he died. Rest in peace. The people are like, oh, King Vaughn. Now, Quando Ronda comes out with this. Be like, oh, self-defense. King Vaughn started it. No, bro. You can't just shoot someone like that and say it's self-defense, bro. Like, that's crazy to me. Now, if Vaughn rushed him with a weapon like a blade or a gun of his own, then, yes, that is viable. That, that's what I'm saying. They were just fighting. That's why, to me, it doesn't look like a good look. Like, if two people are fighting, King Vaughn is, bro... King Vaughn had like three, four people. None of them had guns. And they say, they say King Vaughn people had guns. If they had guns, that dude would have been, I mean, I, I heard that there was other police officers. He did get shot. But you can see in the footage, King Vaughn's people were trying, were, were, were scared to go get him because they didn't want to get shot. If they had guns, they would have been shot him and went and picked up King Vaughn real quick. But they were approaching. So to me, man, this is a little tricky. As someone who's training self-defense as well as being in, exactly. So. There weren't other people fighting. That's what I'm saying. You got to watch the clip. You know, it was just them two squabbling, but people were trying to say that King Vaughn's people, there were so many, and it looked like it was scary. But again, Quando Rondo stood there waiting for King Vaughn, so we don't know what happened. Yes, King Vaughn took the first punch, but that was it. How do you know what, what, what Quando said? How do you know what their approach was? If you're, if you're walking in a back alley and someone all of a sudden comes right in front of you, what are you going to do? That's what Rondo did. It's great, I ain't never had no short side to aim. Man on my head, that's what they say. That's all you got, bitch, make it aim. Come wanna bone me, bite the bait. Dirty clip on me, jump out, shake. That shit a shame. I'ma live this way until they put me in my grave. We be on some beast shit. We be on some rock out with that clock out on some G shit. I be with them youngest, really mocked out on that three shit. We be on some block, I blow they block off, then they screech shit. Yeah, we don't we have enough context. Yeah. Sometimes the bitch lost none at all. You probably would've left your mask, that ain't 100, dog. See, nowadays it's like. Like the fans doing the police job. Y'all talk that gangster shit, but cry when the nigga get off. You post to walk it, how you But talk. shit, I still ain't got my point across. Hey, if the shoe was on the other foot, they wouldn't have said it wrong. Fuck what they say, that's understood. We at the 
to make it home. I put that on the neighborhood before they bust my dome. Tell me why I'm right Red or wrong. Kids. Top shot at it, play, I'm dropped in the bag. Right by the store with all them crip niggas, only life that I had. What they don't know, he knocked down four and did it all with no mask. No many men, they want to kill me, feeling like Curtis Jackson. Whoa. Yo, I don't know, I'm cut this. This song to me is in bad taste, man. Let's let let's let the let's let the courts decide what's gonna happen. I mean, rappers need to chill, bro. Like you, your man shoots someone dead. You have the nerve to come out with the song to talk about it, you know. And to me, it's just like a. I don't even want to talk about this anymore. Um, rest in peace, King Von. I I hate this story. I hate this game, bro. Like this is life and death. I had never seen it any other. And I love hip hop, but I never seen in any other freaking industry people can go this far, kill each other, and talk about it on on wax. Like even back in the days, bro. I don't know, man. Whatever. Let's let's go to the next stuff. Um, 